it's oh crap. Look like something. Is that good? Okay, hi everyone. <laughs> We're trying something new tonight because um, I wanted to do this digitally and my computer doesn't have an HDMI out uh, slot, so <laughs> we had to figure out how to do the uh, streaming software on the computer instead of through the cameras, um, which is more complicated, believe it or not. <laughs> um, if you guys are just popping on, just let me know if the audio is shit and I'll try to fix it. <laughs> Slash Alex will try to fix it. Um, audio is probably fine. Just if the music is too loud or whatever, you can't hear me. Um, just let me know. But, um, okay, so hold on. Let me just bear with me here. Um, yeah, okay, cool. All right, I think I'm good now. <laughs> good? Yeah. Okay. So, all right, so I have a commission that a friend um, asked me to do. I'm not doing family portraits this Christmas because I was really busy with that American Girl project um, and I just finished it. Um, so we have like about a, two weeks a week until Christmas. So, um, I was like, you know what, this is like the first Christmas I'll have had where I'm not working. So I'm just going to like keep my shop closed cause, um, I didn't want to, you know, overdo it. I wanted to spend some time with family this year. Um, so they, sorry, I'm just like looking around and making sure I have everything up that I need up. Um, so I, this is for a really close friend and he ordered it a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> while I was in the middle of that project. So um, I figured why not just opening up all my reference photos right now. Um, so typically how this works is I get the order and the person like will go on my Etsy and I have everything that I need. Um, like how many people, how many animals, do you want a background? And Etsy's kind of funky, so unfortunately I had to have everything be separate. So the listing has like how many people, animals you want, but then if you want a background or like something extra, I had to add it as like a separate listing, which confuses people a lot and I feel really bad about it, but I don't know how else to do it because um, Etsy only allows you to have like so many variations of things. Um, so... Um, it's a little tricky, but after I get the order, um, the person will email me their photos and a short description of the um, people that they want me to draw. And I usually ask for, the description's up on my Etsy, but um, I usually ask for, like, really, like, character-y descriptions. Like, I want to know all their tics. And I'm sorry if I'm looking down. The camera's up here, so hi. But I'm trying to look at my computer screen so I'm sorry if I don't seem engaged looking into your eyes um so um but yeah I I feel like character design is kind of about personality um and sometimes people can get really caught up in like how it looks and you know poses and clothes and like that's all super important so I'm like if they have a favorite sweater or if they have a favorite jacket or something um that's really good information for me but I'm like what are their quirks like do they do like, you know, some kind of body language all the time, or they stand a certain way. So I usually ask for quite a few reference photos. Um, and just like, tell me about the person, like, tell me about the characters that you want me to draw. Like, what do they like? What do they typically do? Like, I don't know, what are they into? Like what floats their boat? And like, I get some really funny write-ups, which is kind of the best part. <laughs> um, so I get to kind of meet these people before I draw them, which is fun. Um, so I'm just gonna start here new, hold on. Okay, so I think 11 by 14 is probably good. I am 
for trip. I like to ask people what size they want to print it at or if they're printing on like pillows or coffee mugs or whatever. Um, Cause I usually typically just, the, the order on Etsy just covers the digital, um, the digital copy of the artwork. Um, I do do printing myself, but I kind of discourage it because printing stresses me out. <laughs> I do, I can do it, but I usually have to do like three test prints before I get the color right. Um, and I just have like a Canon printer. So um, I do my best. It prints up to 11 by 14, 11 by 14, yeah. Um, so usually I ask people like what size they want it because if they want to print it like eight, like 18 by 20, um, I need to make sure the resolution is high enough. So um, it's kind of good to figure that out ahead of time because if I do it like, you know, eight, eight and a half by 11 or whatever, um, eight by 10, I'll get going on it and I'll color it and be like, oh wait, we wanted it this big. And then I'd be like, oh my gosh, well, we can't do that because if you print it that big, it's gonna be pixelated <laughs> and that would be bad. Um, so this is my rough thumbnail. Hope you guys can see it. Okay, cool, you can, awesome. <laughs> um, so I have pulled up behind the scenes here the reference photos of the people that I'm drawing. And they wanted this like Sonic the Hedgehog. What are you trying to do? Volume? Oh, okay, cool. Um, Sonic the Hedgehog portrait where, can't mention any names, but this guy is like Dr. Robotnik. And then this husband and wife couple, I think they're married or they just got engaged. I can't remember. I have to read the email again. Um, so I guess it's just, it's a really fun inside joke <laughs> that I guess they probably were just chatting one day and this came up. Okay, they've been together for many moons. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so apparently Sonic the Hedgehog, there's rings involved and I guess they didn't get rings for their engagement. Okay, so I still need to figure out how I'm gonna do this because, so I have to show you the reference he sent me, like not the people, but like this is, we had a good laugh about this. This is the reference he sent me for um, the Sonic costume. Cause he's like, oh, you could just put them in like Halloween costumes. <laughs> but this kid's head is way too big for his body. I thought it was so adorable. And he's so concentrated on like running like Sonic. It was really cute. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna do a full costume like that. I might do like kind of like my own take on it. Um, but essentially we're gonna try to mix and match um, family portrait with Sonic the Hedgehog theme. So bear with me while I noodle around. I know this is like pretty much the most boring bit. Um, when I'm trying to figure out how to draw things. It's much more fun to watch when I'm like on my way to coloring and finishing, but I mean, this is an important part of the process. It's like, there's a lot of noodling and erasing going on before people actually decide what they wanna draw. So in case you're wondering, I have my tablet on a, <laughs> I have my tablet on a easel because it helps me not get text neck or like one of these because otherwise it would be like on my desk and I would have a really bad neck. So ergonomics is really important when you sit at your desk this long. Um, all right, I'm gonna collect myself here and try to get into this. I think I'm gonna start with Dr. Robotnik first because hmm. okay.
So I guess this is based off of a fan fiction. I guess I can just read this to you guys because as long as I don't show their faces, it's fine. And they're not going to be tuning in here. So, um, so this is what Ryan wrote to me. Miles and I have always had this joke where Ray um, secretly writes Sonic the Hedgehog fan fiction and includes people from work in it. It's stupid, but it's continued for years and I love it. Uh, the reason I want you specifically to do this because, okay, you're amazing, Alex, sweet. <laughs> um, much more hilarious than this ultimately stupid joke that's been imbued in your credit. Oh, thank you. Um, okay, a uh, little info that I'm not sure is important or not. Miles and Nikki have been together for many moons, lived in New Hampshire and in Scotland. Wow. Um, he's in game design. She is a actor slash podcaster. Um, Sonic rings are fine. Okay. Um, okay, so my head goes to Nikki and Sonic. Um, Nikki as Sonic and Miles as Tails in the foreground doing something either cutesy or aggressive and maybe an ominous Robotnik head looming in the background. Um, maybe the Sonic Tails design can be like store-bought kids costumes, but you do you. Uh, oh, and no need to print it, just a digital file. Okay, so that explains like the size question. Um, I'm pretty sure I asked him that again also, so sorry, Ryan. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So... I just wanted to let you guys know what I was drawing, just in case you were wondering. But, um, so this Robotnik person that they want to be Robotnik has kind of like a slender figure and this like awesome nose that I will definitely put a shadow under eventually. And then I kind of want to, I like, really like Dr. Robotnik's like Totoro smile. I guess I could do one of these. These goggles, man. He's got this like spiky hair. So the guy that he sent me doesn't have a mustache, but Robotnik is kind of like really mustachey. <laughs> Plus he's got a pink nose in the cartoon. So I think I'm going to probably accentuate this dude's nose and make it pink and then give him a pretty crazy mustache. really looks like a Ghibli character with this smile and this mustache. <laughs> Do some like handlebar action. I lost my tea. Excuse the profane mug. Sorry, not sorry. I love shoulder pads, man. I can't pull them off, but pretty cool. They're fun to draw.
sometimes when I've been practicing drawing lately, and so I feel like this is coming out a lot easier than it was when I started streaming because I hadn't been practiced very often, but um, sometimes I'm not super decisive with my marks when it comes to um, sketching like this. Feel pretty warmed up because I drew all day today so this isn't going as badly as I thought it was gonna be. All right I feel like I want those hands to be kind of symmetrical later but I'm gonna leave it like that for now and then I'll come back to it. Um, okay let me know, I'm gonna look up my some more reference for Dr. Robotnik on my iPad so it doesn't slow down the stream. Dr. Robotnik. I feel like he's got a few different costumes. Color's gonna be easy because they've got a palette for sure. Oh, there's a graphic novel, that's cool. Goggles will be fun. Ooh, sexy Dr. Robotnik. <laughs> wow, people do some fun stuff. Middle finger, Dr. Robotnik. Oh, speaking of middle fingers, I cut my finger off today. Just kidding, it's just a chunk of it, but cooking some zucchini pasta. <laughs> I got myself. Okay, so there's a few different, he basically just wears like a jacket, but it's kind of, I guess the boots are really cool, but I didn't draw his bottoms. There's no boots. So I'm just gonna do this cool jacket. And it zips down the middle. And it's got these like little lapel buttons on them, I guess. Not all of them do. All right, I'm just gonna do my own thing here, I think. The, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog movie was debatably terrible, I think. Um, it was, it's been a while. But, um, costume design's cool. Like he needed bigger shoulders. I'm definitely gonna make this hand symmetrical.
still not in love with those hands. I might do them like this. I'm not sure. Because he's like juggling all the gems. So right now he just is giving me jazz hands. I'm not sure about that. Okay, well, we're going to keep him for now. I'm going to start a new layer here. And then we have our couple. Where'd they go? Okay, here they are. Okay. I'm going to start with her because she's supposed to be Sonic. And, um, oops, sorry, I touched the mic. Her blue. It's nice when people send like a lot of different photos because like I need to know profile, I need to know, you know, what their nose looks like at different angles. So it's nice when they send. A lot of reference photos. Hmm. I feel like this pose looks like she's farting on him, so I'm going to change it. <laughs> in the front so it looks like she's running a little bit better also I feel like I have to go a little bit faster so the gesture comes across
can't wait to put giant sneakers. I love drawing giant sneakers. <laughs> Which I feel like I want this to show more. She's got cute bangs and some shoulder length hair. Yeah. I think so. Still not totally satisfied with this pose, but I'll sketch over it. I just want to get this one out and down. clearly in my mind, so I have to like show myself it doesn't work sometimes. <laughs> down the opacity so I can sketch over it. So I think I'm just gonna do a really loose one.
Oh no. Just my parents. I forgot to do that. So, sorry guys, the Instagram link isn't working. Yeah, I did turn my mic back on. Oh, I need to open Linktree. That would do it. Oops. Can you send me the uh, new link? Forgot to ask you that earlier. <laughs> Difficulties. <laughs> Alright. Did you send it? Is that the new one? Cool. Just post something on Instagram too that says. would help. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> All right, price is averted. Gosh, there's so much to do with these things. <laughs> forgot a sp I forgot a piece. Oh my gosh, hi Anne. Welcome. With the Fosters. Oh my gosh, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Sorry my link didn't work. <laughs> Slash forgot to put one up. That would be helpful. Okay. So back into it here. So I'm gonna try just sketching over the pose that I originally sketched in the thumbnail just to see that one will work. So if you're just tuning in, sorry, <laughs> but um, I am trying to work out the poses for this family portrait. And I did a thumbnail, um, but I'm just trying to tighten up the, the pose here um, for these characters. And I'm having a time of it because this, this is a stage that's usually pretty terrible and boring. <laughs> um, I actually really enjoy this part. It's not very fun to watch because it's hard to um, figure out what's going on. 
but it will all become clear, I promise. So I think I know why this isn't working. Okay, so originally, this is why it's being weird. Originally, I had Nikki as Tails and Sonic was Miles. So that's why the character I'm drawing right now, I originally had as Tails. And in the show, Sonic, or the video game, Tails flies with his tail. Like, he, like, does, like, a helicopter spin and flies. Um, so that's why I had her butt up like that. <laughs> it's like, it looks like she's farting on Dr. Robotnik, which, like, fine, because he's a villain. But, um, so I'm going to have to redo this pose a little bit. Because she is supposed to be Sonic. And that was just me being dyslexic with what they wanted um although so I think what I'm gonna do is change her to be running open this one up again. So when I was in animation school, um, I never really realized this, but <laughs> you run with your opposite arm, like, so whatever foot is out first, the opposite arm, how do I explain this? Your, your, the foot and your arm should be opposite when you're running, <laughs> so <laughs> that makes any sense. So since this right arm, if I'm, if I'm her, is forward, that means the left leg is going to have to be back. So, wait, yeah, I'm sorry. This leg should be forward because this arm is back. I don't know why that was so hard to explain. <laughs> I know my left and rights, I promise. gonna cut this head out and put it on the other body. So what I like about sketching digitally so much is that it's so easy to just move things around. Um, and that's honestly why I do a lot of, um, mostly all of my publishing work is digital because there's always so many revisions um, that it's just easier to have it be everything be on separate layers and everything because um, there's always changes so just anticipating having to move things around um, it's nice to not have like you know go through a million erasers and sometimes when you draw stuff it just 
things you can't erase, so this just keeps it really clean. And then I can just keep going over these and make them just more refined. So I can kind of start spelling out muscles and making sure the anatomy is working right. I feel like when you're running, you're kind of like punching up at yourself. So I might move this up a little bit. <laughs> I gotta feel it out. Like this back arm is gonna be kind of back in space a little bit behind her. All right, that's looking a little more natural. I'm gonna just put her head in and then I'm probably gonna move on to something else um, just so I can kind of keep going in around. helpful to be live streaming because I can see myself in this tiny little box and um, I can see poses that I need to know. So her head would probably be, be like the, where the collarbone is right here is kind of where I measure like foreshortening because this um, this torso like this is where the collarbones would be and this torso is kind of like the top of a cylinder. So the head right now is like, like she would be standing straight up, but she's leaning forward a little bit. So the, this line right here would be intersecting with, you know, just between the nose and the eyes. So I'm going to move this head down a little bit. Actually, why am I resketching this? I can just cut and paste. Make it easy for myself here. Cool. That looks a little bit more natural. <laughs> Make it a little bigger of a head. Oops, sorry. I'll merge those. Okay, that's looking less weird. <laughs> um, all right, I'm gonna move on to Miles over here so I can give that one a break, let it sit, let it simmer. <laughs> um, sorry, my cashmere sweater is itching and there's a microphone there, so I'm sorry if I just blew you guys up. Mmm. Speement. Okay. Um, Tails is orange, so I'm gonna color, do him with orange sketch. It's not too far off from the red that Dr. Robotnik is, but that's okay. I'm gonna delete all of these layers that I don't want anymore. Okay, so the question now is, do I want to draw tails flying? 
Or is he running? I think he could still be running and like propelling himself forward with his tail. Maybe. Now that I'm looking at her, she needs bigger legs. She's got teeny tiny legs. Wait, those are a little more proportional. I'm not totally stoked about that hip, but fix it later. <sighs> Alrighty. Let me pull up Miles' face. Miles got a sweet handlebar mustache, which I can appreciate because I love drawing fun facial hair. Okay, so Miles has a longer face. Kind of an oval. He's got a nice chin. So I'm gonna just start with an oval just to make my life easier. Make sure I'm on a new layer. Is that hand too big? I don't know. <laughs> we'll find out when this is over. So this is the kind of thing I tell younger artists all the time is like the sketch part is your chance to just work it out. Like you're not going for perfect. Like I know some people are really talented sketch artists, but you know, just draw lightly work out, you know, is this too big? Is this too small? Does this look natural? Because once you put it down, you know, put down your final inks or whatever, it's down. So, and you know, those kinds of things are glaring and like if you're in college or something, you're in a critique or, you know, people can see that because they just, you know, even if you're not an artist, you're like, oh, that's a little, little funky. Um, I want to keep this leg out because I could do him flying, but I really want to draw those big sneakers. <laughs> like the Sonic characters have like these freaking awesome sneakers and I freaking love drawing sneakers. So I'm going to keep that foot kind of superimposed there. And I'm going to a little bit set. I might split them up a little bit so that I can draw that second sneaker. <laughs> I love drawing shoes. I really should do more art artwork with sneakers. I just feel like now that you know, Balenciaga is like in on trend. I'm like, I missed it. <laughs> I'm a hipster man. I don't want to be cool. <laughs> oh God. All right. So that looks pretty good. He seems like a skinny dude, but I feel like that like a little too skinny. I'm gonna beef it up a little bit. Okay. Then I'll just place the eyeballs. Got some glasses on. Got great eyebrows. And since his head is kind of tilted downwards, I don't know if I have glasses to show you. So glasses are a great way to show space. So if I'm looking straight on, my, my scarf on, if I'm looking straight on, like you can see my eyes are like right in the middle of the glasses. But if I tilt my head down, 
the glasses and my, like the edge of the glasses is kind of lined up with my eyes. So when, oh, I can't draw with these on. <laughs> I'm nearsighted. <laughs> um, the edge of the glasses is gonna kind of be down here. super convinced this looks like him yet but we're gonna keep working it and also the glasses are I usually exaggerate glasses they're not that big in IRL but and then I don't need to worry about a mouth because he has a mustache and when your head is tilted down you can't see the mouth if you have a mustache so and then he's got this really nice chin These are two really good people for character design. <laughs> um, I always feel bad, like, if people, like, don't like the way they look on caricature. <laughs> because I think everyone's so beautiful. Like, honestly, that's why, like, I don't grab a People magazine to do these kinds of things. Like, I grab like, you know, my mom's yearbook from high school because I just want like real people with like real features. Um, trying to figure out what Miles' haircut is here. Looks like he's got, okay. I like him with a little bit longer hair just cause I like to draw curls too. So he's got some kind of fun, fun curls. Kind of looks like a musician from the 70s. And I think does his head need to be bigger? Something needs to happen. I think this arm needs to go lower. Brandon oh my gosh welcome thank you for um, popping in here just doing a family portrait for a friend that Sonic the Hedgehog themed <laughs> um, if you guys have questions feel free to pop them in the chat I will answer them um, okay I'm pretty happy with these poses for now I feel like I could revisit hers um, I'm just gonna look up some if anyone's played Sonic the Hedgehog and has like recommendations for like bits and bobs to put in there, um, that would be awesome. I think I'm gonna do the rings. There's all these like fun little gadgets and stuff. Dr. Robotnik uses like that black and yellow, like industrial tape. That could be a fun. I'm just gonna put these in. They're 
saxophone player, if I remind myself. Like this kind of tape. It's very Sonic the Hedgehog-y. Um, it looks like there's like these little gadgets, probably like explosives of some kind. Let me just type in Sonic the Hedgehog. That might help. I've been good, Brandon. Thank you. Just uh, doing some freelancing and hanging out. It's uh, been really busy, but I just finished my last like big, big project, and I still have to do Weenie, which is the sequel to the graphic novel that came out this October. Um... So that will be done mid-February, and then I will be writing my own graphic novel, which I've already gotten the first chapter done to, so I'm so excited about that. But um, it's still very much in its infancy. Okay. Just like fun flowers and stuff. I can put flowers. <laughs> Rockets. I don't really know how, how to search this. Like, weapons? I remember watching the cartoon when I was younger, but it's, like, hard to... Oh, cool. Thanks, Brandon. I will. I feel kind of like a poser. Like, this was ordered, but I don't play video games very much. My brother is a huge gamer. And um, I, he got all the gamer jeans. I, I draw a lot, <laughs> so I like to draw the games. I remember actually sitting on my brother's floor and drawing Sonic the Hedgehog while he played it um, when we were kids. But I never, I never had the attention span to play games um, or the skill or the patience. <laughs> um, I did like Animal Crossing for a while. I played it on GameCube. But I just couldn't justify buying a Switch to keep playing. Because <laughs> I'm like, every time I should be doing like I want to do something else that's fun. Like, i.e. Jiu-Jitsu, Brandon. <laughs> Brandon's one of my friends from Jiu-Jitsu when I used to go. Um, but I'm always like, oh, I should be working. I should be drawing. I need to be doing that. I'm obsessive, so I need to like calm down. But you got me here, so I'm probably doing okay. But All right, there's a lot of like swords and stuff, but I'm just going to... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can't remember my brother used to play... Brandon said he grew up with um, old school games and um, played with his sister as well. I gotta, Oh, gems. That's what I wanted to look up. Okay, so these are pretty standard gems. <laughs> Your typical Lego gem, you know. Okay, oh, and I have to draw their um, costumes. Oh, I guess I didn't need to put hair on. I guess I didn't need to put hair on Miles because he's going to have a Sonic hat on. <laughs> all right, I'm going to hide this for now because I might use that as a detail later. Um, all right, let me go in with blue. Oh, no. Shit. <laughs> I keep messing this up. Miles is supposed to be. I don't know why I thought, like, Tails was supposed to be a girl for some reason. I mean to like misgender Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails. But um, I keep messing that up. So Miles is supposed to be Tails. So he's just going to have some fox ears, I think. I have to see. Yeah, fox ears and a fox tail. And I feel like I want to give him like, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, gloves, too. They have, like, those big gloves. Like the Mickey Mouse gloves. Okay. Oops, my music stopped. Got quiet in here. Oops. We're not registered to play that. <laughs> I'm 
gonna get taken down because copyright. <laughs> okay. Store some fox ears. Cute. I'm gonna go in with blue, I think, so I can see over it. Um, just so you guys know, if you're drawing along at home or drawing at all at home and are curious what brush I'm using, it's the Kyle Webster Animators brush. Um, I really like this one for sketching because it's tiltable and it gives you kind of like a really natural line, um, which I really like. I used to use the oil pastel for... Oh, we can make these huge. These are big. <laughs> these are big ears. Um, and I still use that one a lot for painting. But um, I just kind of switched to this one a couple months ago. And I really like it. Yeah, those are, those are about the size. Gonna have this be like a headband. All right, and then we got these gloves. So whenever I'm drawing gloves, I usually draw them a little bit larger than I would the hands, just because that's how they would look in real life. I don't think I want to go super cartoony with these, just so it stays consistent with my own style. Um, and my favorite part when I'm drawing gloves is doing this little side seam here. <laughs> I love drawing that because it makes it look, um, really three dimensional. And if this like finger will have one too. Why do you keep stopping music? I want to just keep playing this over again. Will this just keep playing like consecutively? <laughs> I just started it over. Will that work? Yep. Where were you playing it from? I just hit it from here. Yeah. Oh, oops. Yeah. Alex is my away. IT. Was it playing about the same song the whole time? It was probably playing the same song for a while. <laughs> what time is it? Uh, probably just for a couple minutes. Oh, okay. Cool. Thanks, IT man. Those are cute. All right, I think I'm gonna do, I kinda wanna do like cool outfits that are inspired by um, Sonic the Hedgehog and Tails, but, cause I feel like with the ears and everything, it kinda comes across, cause otherwise they're just gonna be in like full suits, like fuzzy suits. And that's fine, but I'm not sure. I think I want to do some fun fashion stuff. Um, Ryan, if you're watching and you have any input, <laughs> that'd be great. <laughs> um, yeah, that would be cool. Oh, I guess I should do these sneaks first, huh? They've got big socks too. I feel like Miles is the kind of person that wears like ankle socks. So I think instead of like these chunky socks, actually, yeah. I think they're gonna be like up here and then chunky on the bottom. Alright, 
so sometimes I draw the heel too low, so I'm gonna, this is my hip bone, goes to my knee, and then my heel should be about there. So I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Actually, yeah, that's too long. And then this needs to go back a little bit. Thanks, Brandon, I totally will. <laughs> I don't think I can stop painting. I think I'll die if I stop. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry to hear that you and Professor left the station. Well, I hope wherever you guys ended up, you're you're doing good and you're still rolling and having a good time, especially because COVID, I know, messed up a lot of gyms. Um, Brandon and I used to do jujitsu together. Um, but if you're closer to where I'm living, that'd be great. Because <laughs> I was like, after we did the jujitsu tournament, I was like, yeah, I'll drive up to Manchester two times a week to practice jujitsu. And then life just got crazy and it's about an hour. So it's too much. All right, this foot is not happening right now to figure out like where I want it to be. There's my heel. They look more like boots right now, but I just need them to kind of get the shape. His legs are looking small to me. So I think I might beef this up a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do her shoes and then we're gonna flip this baby around. Alright, so what does Sonic look like? Let's see here. He's got those spiky things. <laughs> that kid cracks me up. This guy, in case you're just tuning in. Hold on, crap. This kid is my hero. He's very fun. Um, all right, so we've got some ears the same as Tails does. They're pretty big. 
gonna be a little bit shorter, I think, because she's looking down. And we have the spikes. So when Sonic runs, he's got like the Tron trail behind him, like that blue like light up trail, I think. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that. Kind of like going up that way. And then I'm gonna move them apart a little bit so that I can see them better. Oops, I'm gonna just lay it down. And I wanna see Tails' tail also. So he's got double tails for the helicopter bit. Actually, I'm going to do this on a separate layer, I think, because that's kind of behind. Okay, that's cute. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn off the back my first sketch and then kind of maneuver all of these guys up a little bit so I have a better composition and then what I love doing is I put all these in a folder and I turn the opacity down well sort of down and then I go up to image um, image rotation and flip canvas horizontal so what this basically does is helps you um, figure out like where your problems are. Oops. So I'm gonna sketch over this, um, basically like I was doing, but it kind of helps me figure out what everything wants to do naturally. Because I think we have like a natural lean in our drawing hand. So this helps to kind of correct it. Hi, Louise. Joe and I are watching. Hi, Joe and Louise. 
Thank you guys for tuning in. Appreciate you guys for coming on here. I think, so their hands are overlapping, so whichever hand I feel like sucks more, I'll put it behind. <laughs> So I wanted to draw the calf bigger because he's like stepping out towards us. He's still looking a little skinny, but that's like a foreshortening thing. But I wanna make sure that that looks proportionate. sideburns go right about to his mustache so I'm gonna leave that there I think that's a good spot for the sideburns mm, tea
Yeah. Okay. Okay, that looks legit. All right, the question is, do I put them in a onesie or do I do cool outfits? If anyone wants to chime in. Okay, so I can do either like the child's um like what what even shoes this guy's this guy kid's wearing like pilgrim shoes <laughs> can't figure it out um do like this type of pajamas basically like the full suit of the costume or i can do outfits inspired by tails and sonic and that's kind of what i'm trying to decide in this moment of sketching over these guys because I do not know what I want to do. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look at reference of her again because let's see what her face shape is because I just sketched this like quickly. Oh, onesies? Oh, okay, that makes my job really easy. Thank you for ch tuning in, Ryan. <laughs> this is Ryan's portrait that he ordered. They're gonna be like superhero um, fluffy ones. She got great lashes. That's what, okay. Eyebrows. Lashes. Okay. People are so beautiful. I can't even handle it sometimes. She looks like that um, actress that was in The Queen's Gambit and Emma. <laughs> Those are two far apart eyes. I'm glad you're enjoying this on a 50 inch TV. I feel bad if anyone's watching this on a phone. It might be better because it's digital this time. But I originally wanted to do this traditionally with ink, but then I kind of looked at the poses and I'm like, I feel like I'm gonna be erasing a lot. So at least for the sketch, doing it digitally. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna rotate this and draw it that way because this keeps coming out really wonky. Have the tools, I should use them. Maybe finish drawing her head too. I'm breathing a lot because I forget to breathe. 
when I'm doing this um, type of like any drawing at all, I always just realize that I'm not breathing and that is really bad for anxiety and like things that, you know, if you sit for too long, just like happen. Um, so that's why I'm taking deep breaths. Um, Ryan, sorry for the delay. I had to watch the Succession season finale. Um, how'd you do on your, oh, you're so funny. <laughs> um, I've never seen Suc Succession. Is it scary? It sounds like it's something that's scary. Or is it like, is it the royal show? What am I thinking of? That's the scary movie. I'm not sure about these eyes. I try to get as much likeness as possible with these portraits. I mean, sometimes it's not always like that. I mean, it's important, but it's like, you know, I can take some liberties. This is just like a hard, it's a hard angle. <laughs> But typically what I do when I am having a hard time figuring something out is um, I just do what I can and then keep re-sketching it and flipping it over. Um, I just, she's got these bangs and her eyebrow shape is kind of hard to see. So I'm kind of just noodling around trying to figure out what to do. It seems like they're, they're pretty high and round. So she doesn't have too much of an arch. And then I'm just, before I forget, I'm gonna draw these bangs because they are very prominent. She's got these nice fringy blunty bangs. And um, actually movement's going this way. So I'm just gonna draw them going that way. I think what I can do is move these up a little bit. Sure. Look like she has too many layers. So pretty much just a bob. too big so escape lasso tool shrink it down to that Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> oh, you're so sweet. Thank you so much for tuning in so much. You guys have been awesome. Oops. Just clicked out of the chat. Sorry. that for now and then I think I'm gonna probably sketch it one more time when I flip it back the other direction just 
just because I'm still not, her expression looks kind of like not there. <laughs> so. That's a weird hand. I have to like really think about hands. So hands are always really hard and so many people have trouble with hands because like if you think about like a head, like you can pretty much describe a head in like a box, like one box. Like you have your front plane, you have your side planes, like it's a cube essentially. And same with arms, like it's just like a long rectangle. Like it's like top plane, side plane, back plane. Like everything's really simple. If you think of a hand, that's so many boxes. Like you have this knuckle is a box, this knuckle is a box, this hand, like your neat part of your hand is a box. Like there's a lot of boxes going on. It's a lot of planes. So that's why hands are so difficult because you have kind of like trying to figure out like where all those planes exist in space. Cause they're all like moving together, but they all move in like different ways. Um, but there are rules to it. So if you practice them enough, you can kind of like figure out like, I'm gonna like pose like her. So if I'm running this way and this hand is out, it's kind of like the side view. Actually, can I do this? Oh, it's opposite. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, opposite. Okay, so it's this bit. And it's kind of tilted up. So there's this part is going up. So that's what I was missing last time. I think this might be worse. <laughs> Maybe not, I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what things are gonna look like until I draw it. <laughs> Better reference come in and hot. Oh, thanks. What happened to your finger? Oh, I chopped my, um, a big chunk of my finger off while I was making dinner tonight. So, Alex patched me up though, no worries. All good. So she's also wearing gloves because Sonic wears gloves. And she's Sonic. So, I'm gonna drop these down actually. Got that fancy pinky up. I don't know if I want that. Finger stew. Yeah, oh my gosh, this is so gross. But like, I chopped the bit off and um, I like, Alex was on a meeting still. So I was just like cooking and then like kind of freaked out because I was like, you know, I have to, it was bleeding a lot. <laughs> but I, um, it didn't bleed in the food, but I don't know where the bit of the finger went, so we probably had it for dinner. <laughs> That's so gross. But you know, we're, it's fine. <laughs> uh, look at your text, I got a new picture. Oh, cool, oh my gosh, that's perfect. Okay, so it looks like we have a picture of her face at that angle. Thanks, Ryan. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, perfect. Okay, I'm opening that up on my screen. Okay, so she's got a little bit more of a round nose and it's sloped like that. Thank you so much, Ryan, that was super helpful. I know, sorry, Louise, that was so gross. <laughs> That's what, like, so all my friends who are tuned in right now, I usually cook for everybody. Like, it's I love to cook for everybody and um, they're never gonna trust me again to cook because I'm there's fingers in the stew, man. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so I think I have her cheekbones too high. And 
damn, her winged eyeliner is on fire. <laughs> My friend Amelia said it's worth the risk. I hope so. Alex and I didn't notice until after we ate dinner tonight. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know where that bit of my finger went. <laughs> so, that's okay. It's protein, right? That's fine. That's what you say to make yourself feel better when you eat a bug or something. But, you know what? We live on this planet with a lot of other things. It's bound to happen. <laughs> That was really helpful, Ryan. Thank you for that reference. Um, so I feel like I got the nose a little bit better and then she's got these like gorgeous pouty lips. And then her lower lip is a little more square. <laughs> now I know what people taste like. <laughs> yeah, and it tastes really good. <laughs> Okay, she's looking very like, not anime, but like very comic booky right now. So we're gonna take away their muscles with some footy pajamas <laughs> in a minute. <laughs> I'm just gonna finish going over her anatomy with this layer. never seen Silence of the Lambs because I don't do scary movies despite me wearing a bat themed um, headscarf I love Halloween and I love spooky stuff but when it comes to eating things like I'm freaked out by it like I hate the Little Mermaid because of that scene when Ursula eats that little prawn thing but it's alive man that's fucked up <laughs> excuse my language if there's kids on but that makes, that's always stuck with me is like very scarring. I feel like this shoe is too big now. But I have a problem with like, just things eating other things. Oh, in that, um, in Star Wars too, when Jabba the Hutt, oh, I'm getting like angry thinking about it. It makes me so mad. <laughs> like if I were boxing and needed to be angry, which you're not really supposed to be, but if I need to just lose it, if you wanted me to just like go nuts, like show me those clips from those movies and I'll just destroy everything. It makes me so mad. <laughs> just, I don't know if it's like maternal instinct or like, don't eat those things, man. They're still alive. Like that's messed up. Like, you know, just kill it humanely and then eat it. Like God, <laughs> monsters. Okay, this thigh definitely needs to be longer, I think kind of weird. You know what? I need to put it in the front there. There we go. That's better. Still looks a little weird, but I'm gonna leave it for now. All right, and then we got Robotnik up here. I kind of like how he looks, so I'm just gonna tighten it up a little bit. Let me find my reference again. Oh, and she's got glasses on. So let's, uh, I'm gonna save the glasses. We'll put those on after. Just wanna make sure I have like the likenesses down and then I'll put the costumes on over it.
finger food. Oh my gosh, Anne, you're so cute. <laughs> see this guy's mouth I don't really have a reference picture of him smiling and he's got pretty thin lips so I feel like I can get away with this this Totoro smile I've got going on right now because Dr. Robotnik has a smile so I feel like I can take some liberties with that um, his forehead is like a, it's a very average forehead I would show you guys these reference photos, but I, I feel like that's, I probably shouldn't on the internet. <laughs> Powerful mustaches in this piece of artwork here. Got a lot going on. <laughs> oh, Louise, I, I wish I could make it. I could do a separate one as Ryan, but this is, um, you'll probably actually know this person, but I'm not going to spoil it. He's got a pretty normal chin, too. <laughs> He's a normal dude. Except his um, jaw is a little bit softer. He doesn't really have like a wide jawline, so. Got a tiny neck, so we're safe here. Sometimes people have like really beefy necks and they like go to the outside of their jawline. This guy's got a little neck. All right, and then I'm totally going to... Oh, thank you. Ryan sent me some more reference. Um, I'm gonna change these hands, I think. Make them bigger, more excited. Or should I, I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna tilt them so the pinkies are more forward, I think. What a new layer, right? Whoops. Cut and paste this guy before I get too carried away. <laughs> okay. I wanna mess with my flow, man. Okay. So when I'm drawing folds, sometimes I'll just throw, like I just had like placeholder folds in there just to kind of get the gist of the drawing. Um, but they help to identify the um, contour of the, um, like the tube of the arm. So if you think of the arm as like a cylinder, you want to draw the folds like, so this would be the cylinder is pointing outward, so that also helps me figure out that I'm gonna put the sleeve opening um, towards the viewer. Because I had the folds kind of just flat, and that doesn't really do anything for the drawing, so. He's gonna be kind of, his hands are gonna be pointing out.
so the pinky is facing more towards me. So that means the thumb goes out that way. And I like to do for hands the little square that kind of helps me figure out like where the palm is facing. Actually, I'm going to really go for that. Try to make these look more excited. <laughs> okay, this looks more natural than what I had. Okay. Thumb can go, if you like really splay your hands out, the thumb can go like almost at a 90 degree angle. So if this. Well, it's more obtuse, but. Placeholder folds is a section of my memoir about my weight loss journey. <laughs> Amelia, you're too funny. I'm telling you, you guys need to like kickstart your comedy writing career. Okay, so I feel like the thumb is in a good spot, but I feel like the, he's kind of like, look at all the gems I have. Maybe not that much. Yeah, so the hand's gonna kinda be like that. <laughs> it's backwards on the camera, so it's hard to see, but. And I believe Dr. Robotnik has gloves as well. I'm pretty sure everyone's got gloves going on. Oh no, Amazon. That was an image that linked to action figures. Okay, so he's got gloves, but they're not as like cute and cartoony as, um, I'm gonna do characters. <laughs> New York Times magazine or New York Magazine quiz top ten hottest female Sonic the Hedgehog characters. Aren't there only like two? They're like the Bat Girls. I don't remember. Well, there's a quiz about it on New York Magazine. Oh, cool. Fingerless gloves on Dr. Robotnik. Okay. No, I got my tea. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's see here. Okay. Those look way, way more natural than what I did have. He just looked kind of like, ah! in the first sketch. Now he looks a little more like, ah, I'm the villain here. <laughs> I have gems and things. Okay, let's go back to our original sketch here. My thumbnails. Okay, they're all diamond shaped. Okay, so Dr. Robotnik has like a brow bone, but there's no actual hair. <laughs> Disrespect Amy Rose. I'm not disrespecting her. Is that one of the characters that's sexy? You have to send a picture to me. I don't know, or send it to Ryan so you can send it to me. Um, Amy Rose? Maybe I can just look it up. I haven't played this. Oh, she's so cute. 
Okay, yeah, but there not there that sexy bat woman with the heart on her chest? Amy Rose. Bat? Ba bat lady? <laughs> oh, okay. Um, Rouge? Rogue? Rouge? Yeah, she's the sexy bat lady. I can imagine those were the two characters on that list, but... She's a cutie. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, what other characters they got. Robert Pattinson, the hedgehog. <laughs> okay, back to work here. I'm looking at sexy video game characters. New York Magazine distracted me. Um... So he's got these like eye brow bones, which I feel like helps make him look crazy. So we're gonna add those. And then some shines, shing, shing, anime sounds, collar, zipper. these like Thor things. <laughs> wonder if this is where the new Thor got it from. It's like buttons. In the final sketch I'll probably make these three-dimensional just so they like point up and out. <laughs> Alright, now I'm gonna go back into Tails Tails. On a background layer. Oops, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you guys just saw all those reference photos. Oh, Billy's enjoying the show. Hi, Billy. Billy is the. Oh, I'm gonna show you this. This is a really cute photo. This is my neighbor, Anne, um, and that's her corgi, Billy, watching the stream on your TV. Oh my gosh, it looks like so much fun watching on the TV. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, also, Anne, what are you working on? Anne has been tuning in to every live stream, and um, she's been working on a fun art project, and she's been doing some fun color by numbers. Um, and I was explaining, hopefully, um, within the next few streams, we're going to start doing prompts so you guys can draw along at home. Or just do whatever creative thing you want at home. But these are just kind of excuses to be creative. So, Anne, if you're working on something, I know you said you were with the Fosters, but if you're working on something, let me know what you're working on. Or just show me tomorrow when I'm walking the dog. <laughs> Anne's been a really great neighbor. She's really fun. She's very creative. Oops, that's on the wrong layer, but whatever. We're going to merge these anyways. feeling pretty good about this. I think instead of drawing Robotnik's um, feet, because I feel like that's just, oh, he's standing behind you. Ooh, I think I'm going to do some smoke, because <laughs> I think that'll look more ominous. Plus, like, there's, like, clouds and stuff in Sonic, right? Have 
Maybe I can raise him up a little bit more. This is why I keep everything on separate layers because if I need to move things around, it's a lot easier. Hi, Sophie Sacco. Good to see you. Welcome. Trying to do these every Monday at least. Hopefully twice a week, but for now every Monday. So um, thank you for joining. I'm glad you could make it. I'm going to go a little over. These usually are 7 to 9, but um, I started late because we had some technical difficulties and I forgot to put the new link in the Instagram. Fun. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do now is flip it back. So I've got two image rotation. So the canvas horizontal. Okay, so yeah, I could probably fix her face a little bit more. I like to have the um, this lines as tight as I can because if I draw, or if I color this in, um, I pretty much use my sketch lines as like a line to color in, like I'm coloring in a coloring book. Um, so we have to put some footy pajamas on these guys. <laughs> um, so let me look up. I think they just have like white bellies and they're pretty much just like hairy. I don't know, Ryan, if you want to chime in, like, do you want these like skin tight fur suits, like furries, or do you want them like kind of loose and baggy, like dopey footy pajamas that you wear at Christmas? I'm not quite sure. I just, I feel like I just drew their anatomy, so, which is fine. I needed to do that anyways, but I feel like now I have to decide whether I want them to be like fluffy or not. But in the meantime, I'm going to go back into her face because I'm not really digging it. I feel like she's got a lot more expression in real life and she looks kind of dead right now. <laughs> Pull up that picture. My reference picture. <laughs> Ryan, I really want to, where did you get the, are those on his Instagram? Where did you get the picture of Ray with his shirt off? <laughs> did he send you those? Are you that close with him? <laughs> Curious. Cheapo onesies from the okay. So we're we're going cheapo depot baggy, not tailored onesies on this. Cool. Oh Facebook. Oh that's fun. Oh I see. It was a bad sunburn, that's why his shirt was off. I was like, ooh, he's sending you nudes, that's fun. <laughs> okay. Both Nikki and Miles have like great chins. Like they're gonna have some, if they decide to have babies, like it's gonna be some really strong jaws in that household. Facebook Messenger. <laughs> Hit me in my DMs, man. Okay, so let's think about these eyes. She's like looking really sexy because she's a really pretty girl, Nikki. Um, I guess I could have her smiling more if I wanted to. I don't know. Let's check it out. Now she just kind of looks like a Barbie if she's smiling like that. I didn't draw the face to accommodate a smile. I might not have to move the jaw though. I don't know, Ryan, smiling or with teeth or no teeth? Teeth, no teeth. Teeth, no teeth. I don't know what I like better. I can't tell. 
think maybe like a little bit less of a smile. I feel like in most pictures she's no teeth, so I feel like I could just keep it like that and just like make her eyes smile a little bit more. Smize like Tyra Banks says. Teeth make her look more like she's having fun. Yeah, I feel like they're like kind of torturing this guy. <laughs> like you think you're hot shit, but you're not. So no teeth. Wait, so teeth or no teeth? I don't know. Oh crap, I erased it. I deleted it already. Hold on. Okay, I kind of like that one. That's with teeth. So no teeth? So she doesn't, she's not having fun. No, keep, no teeth. teeth keep it easy. Okay, well I, I don't know, I'm just confused. <laughs> Help me. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Help. Help me. Help me Tom Cruise. Help me Oprah Winfrey. Use your voodoo magic. Use your voodoo magic. Man, lips are hard. <laughs> Wait, why JK to what? The teeth? <laughs> Welcome to the next two hours of the line stream where I'm just drawing and undrawing teeth. So sometimes when I'm paying too close attention to the reference, I start to get really tight. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. I'm like looking really hard at her lips and like trying to draw every little crevice and like space and that's not really working. I'm just gonna leave that for now. I love drawing eyelashes. I think most girls do because like, it's like you're doing mascara and like eyeliner on yourself. <laughs> I'm like a liquid liner. All right, she's got Okay, that looks a little bit less dead now. This is what it was. She wasn't really looking at him. So that feels better.
That, wow. Ryan just sent me a picture of the guy who I'm supposed to do as Robotnik, and he is in a black suit and a black tie. And I feel like that basically is like the reference for this entire thing. He looks very villainous. <laughs> okay. I think I'm happy with that. Yeah. So in case anyone's wondering, yeah, it does take me this long to sketch things usually. <laughs> usually it can take me anywhere from like, with family portraits it's more difficult because I want to try to get the likeness really well and I want to make sure it's like flowing. Um, so it's not just like I copied a picture, you know what I mean? So that's why I like a lot of reference. And um, yeah, that's why it takes me so long. <laughs> Okay, that feels good. And then I don't know if I need to resketch her entire body. Mm, I'm gonna just because that rib cage looks weird. Oh, and I need to do the onesies. So. Doesn't really matter if her rib cage looks weird because we're gonna be drawn over it. Okay, so especially with women, it's I just got I just did a family portrait that the girl in the photo was wearing a coat, and apparently. Um, She's a little bit insecure about how stout she is. So um, I had to redo it. Um, not redo it, but just like make it a little bit more flattering. Um, so with things like this, it's always kind of difficult because you don't want to, you know, insult the person, which like from an artist's perspective, like, like every single person that sends me photos, I'm like, oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. I can't wait to draw them. But like, I can never account for people's like own insecurities, um, which makes this kind of difficult. But, um, you know, I just work with the person and make sure they get what they want. Cause at the end of the day, they ordered it. And like, as much as I want to be like, oh yeah, well, I'm, you know, I'm a cartoonist, I do caricature. Um, you know, that's just kind of what it looks like. Um, I can't really argue with them. And that's, that's the tough part about illustration is like you're doing it for money at the end of the day. So um, it, it's kind of the client that has the last say. And like, especially with my publishing work, like I have had times where I've stood up for things that I wanted um, in like revisions and stuff. And that's fine because like that's my name on it. And you know, it's a book and like, there's a little bit more artistic freedom, but when it comes to somebody's likeness, it can be um, kind of tricky to navigate. Cause you never know what a person feels about a certain part of their body and you're drawing it. So it can be tricky. Oops. So I kind of had, I was really worried actually when I started doing the family portraits um, that there was going to be more of that, but this is actually only the second time somebody has been like, Oh, could you just like make that a little more this or a little more that, um, which is really nice because people usually like know what they're getting when they buy it. So like they look at my style and they're like, Oh, well she does this. So, you know, I'm not, if you want like a fully rendered, you know, hyper realistic portrait I'm not the person you're gonna come and see I'm just gonna like flatten out her deltoids a little bit because she doesn't she seems like a little bit like a superhero bodybuilder right now and she's not really coming across as that in the reference photos so okay and then
trying to see. I think it's just like the belly is white. Oh, his is beige and his arms are beige. So I'm gonna make sure there's a seam here <laughs> so I can color that beige. And then we'll do like a little oval. This knee could be up a little bit higher. the refund policy on this thing. Well, Ryan, um, I don't have anything to refund you, but if you want to put the order in and then I can give you your money back after that. Or you can just give me one star on Etsy. <laughs> but I haven't had anyone refund or like really hate their portrait because um, usually I check in with a sketch and I'm like hey I'm gonna color this do you like it and then they're like yeah or let's change this or whatever so hopefully like with family portraits at least I've had only happy customers which is good because I can handle that but, but yeah Ryan if you really don't like it that's okay I need I need that harsh reality sometimes Good, good practice for me. I need to grow a thicker skin. No cameo from Ollie today. He's twitching on his bed because he's having a... Uh, Green. <laughs> we had a big day today. We hung out with our friend Otis down the street. Otis came over and ran around off leash um, in the yard with Ollie today, which was great. He needed some exercise. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it was just cheeky, Ryan. I, I, it didn't seem mean to me. Yeah, Ryan's a jerk, you guys. I'm just kidding. Ryan's probably the nicest person I know. Actually, yeah, he's pretty much the nicest person. All right, I gotta redo. Turn that layer off. I gotta make his outfit a little more chonk, chonky. Where is he? What the heck? Oh, there he is, okay. Um, so I'm not going to resketch the face because I like the way his face came out. But. Ryan, do you think that Miles would have like chest hair showing <laughs> or should I have him zipped up all the way? I'm just gonna cut and paste his hand, because his hand is fine. Oops. Is 
zipped up for sure. This man's a professional. Cool. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little collar here. What's happening? Oops. What? Happened here? Okay. What's going on? Oops, I merged the hand on the wrong layer. Ugh. Cut that sucker out again. Okay. That's better. Oh. I think there would be hoods on these. Because they're wearing their little ears on the other side, so. I don't know. Do most onesies come with hoods? I don't know if they do. People with onesies weigh in. Definitely hoods. I feel like that makes them really cozy. <laughs> okay, same thing with this hand. I don't need to redraw this whole thing. I don't need to reinvent the wheel here. Let's make sure I merge it on the right layer. Oh, because I took down the opacity and I merged, so it's um, it's gonna be that way forever. I might as well redraw it then. Oh well. <laughs> Who's the pilgrim boy? Did you send reference that I didn't see? Oh, the pilgrim boy, because he's got pilgrim shoes on. I should have that open. Stand by. I'm going to go to the other screen here. I have one million screens open right now. So that's why I'm taking so long. Yeah, those shoes, man, I don't know. <laughs> those are pilgrim shoes.
Okay, Tails has like these like ruffs on his little belly part. That I'll have to put on him. I feel like you'd be able to see a little bit of the foreshortening here. accidentally um, took the opacity down on his head when I merged that layer so it's just like that now <laughs> I don't know how to bring it back because it's at a hundred percent opacity um, and then I'm just gonna do a little hood I think pretty happy with that cool so now I'm gonna oop, I'm gonna group all of these sketches together and put them in a folder and then um, so now I can move them around a little bit easier oops computer's working really hard right now. Does it matter how many gems there are? Go back in history and selectively undo opacity, change or merge without losing the rest. No, <laughs> I do this all the time. Um, if I go back in history, I'll lose all the stuff that I did already after that mistake. Um, so it's fine because I have to I have to take down the opacity anyways to color it. So um, it's not really a big deal. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, gems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. I feel like I want to do, maybe they could be holding a ring together because they just got engaged. So 
slash marry. Do they get married or do they get engaged? Oh, maybe it's an illustrious thing. That doesn't really make any sense because her hand is back there and it would have to be to make it make sense. No, it still doesn't make any sense. All right, they're gonna be holding separate rings. You need two rings to get engaged anyway. Neither? Oh, well then never mind. <laughs> they're just holding some rings now. Actually, I'm gonna make her hold the ring because then we can still see everything. I think it's too blocked. And then Tails is just running, because I feel like Sonic is, he gets the ring and then Tails is like, they escape together, I don't know. Maybe no shared ring just in case. <laughs> so should, if she's holding a ring, should I just omit that? Maybe. Don't wanna, you know, make any innuendo. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five rings. Oh, there's just like rings, like in general. They're just around. Okay, so maybe I could like, maybe I could do this. Have it be the background where he's kind of like framing him. So that'll be a gold ring. We can just do rings like everywhere. And then I think I'm gonna. take this whole kit and caboodle and shrink it because it's getting a little close to the edge there. Cool. Great. I think that's it. I think that's done for a sketch. Ryan, what do you think? <laughs> Scrap it. Done. It's over. I'm trying to think of what else I can put in here. There's like clouds and stuff. So I think instead of like the you know, whatever communist propaganda rays I had <laughs> behind the ring we could just do. Like I can do those like overlaid with light, but I think I can do clouds. And they're always like by the ocean. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, I think instead of the, like I have the clouds over here, the ominous clouds, but I think I want them on this like track of light because Sonic has to have light coming off of him slash her. So this will be a color and it'll be glowing. That's cool. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. All right, you guys. It is 9:39, so I am gonna probably call it a quit, or call it a day for today, um, and then come back and color this for the next stream. Um, so thank you for tuning in, you guys, and thank you for staying on this long. Um, those of you who are still here. Um, yeah. I'll see you next stream. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Bye.
Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> I made this for you.